It's excellent that you're here because it's a very good time to talk about the relationship between fractions and decimals. Eh? Because both are, let's say, ways to say something about the whole, uh, of a part of the whole of a particular number. Yeah? Um, okay, now let's have a look. If I have the decimal, for instance, let's say 0 0.7, and I have to change that into a fraction, eh? you need to be able to do so. Now what is important, you have to look at the place value. Now what is the place value of my first decimal number? Eh? Because I only have one decimal. What is the place value of that? Yeah, so I have units, I have tens, hundreds on that side. But what is the place value of my first decimal? You're absolutely right, those are your tens. Yeah. Now how many tens do I have? I have seven of them. So as a fraction, that would be seven over ten. Now, if I would have a different decimal, for instance, 0 0.23, again, what is the place value? Well, those are my tens, and those are my hundreds. Now, how many hundreds in this case do I have then? I have 23 hundreds. So, 0 0.23 as a fraction is 23 over 100. And let's do one more, 0 0.255 equals, again, place value. Now, what is the place value of those, decimal, of those decimals? Yeah, those are tens, hundreds, thousands. And how many thousands do I have? I have 255,000, so 255 over 1,000. But now that last one I can simplify. I see a common factor because of 5 and a 0. So I see a common factor of 5. Now 255 divided by 5 or 250 divided by 5. That would be 50. So that's going to be 51. And 1000 divided by 5 is 200. Yeah. So 0 0.255 is equivalent. It's the same as... Yeah, 255 thousands, uh, 255 over a thousand. And if I simplify that, that is 51 over uh, 200. All right, but you also have to be able to do it the other way around. So I have a fraction and um, I have to turn that into a decimal. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in the next video. I'll see you there.